Chapter 12, The Jesus Connection The way that Jesus communicates with us is by the Holy Spirit, His angels, Himself directly and by dreams, visions, revelations and His voice. He does not lead us or control us by the Bible, the Bible is not a living thing, it is a dead letter. There is historical truth recorded in the Bible and prophetical truth about the New Covenant, Joel said, and it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and Jeremiah said, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws upon their heart, and upon their mind I will write them, on. The day of Pentecost those prophecies were fulfilled with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. If the living Jesus Christ does not talk with you, then you have no real faith. Faith comes by hearing the voice of God, not by reading the Bible. Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith and his sheep know his voice. Faith is being controlled by the living Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the Word of God and the Holy Spirit is the voice of God. You must understand these basic simple truths, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. The Spirit makes intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. Here is wisdom, the Bible cannot make intercessions for you, it is dead. You must understand that words in a book have no power and are not a love letter to you, the Bible is an inanimate object that cannot convey God's love to you. Jesus keeps us by the Holy Spirit, John 14 verses 16 to 17, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another Comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. John 14 verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. John 15 verse 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of Truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. John 16 verses 13 to 14 When he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. Jude 1 verse 20 But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, 1 Timothy 4 verse 14 KJV, neglect not the gift that is in thee, 2 Timothy 1 verses 6 to 7 Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, 2 Timothy 1 verse 14 That good thing which was committed unto thee keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. 1 John 2 verse 20 But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. 1 John 2 verse 27 But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. 1 John 4 verse 13 Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. You cannot fight the devil with a book, the devil uses the book more than anyone. With the Bible, the devil keeps us in the flesh. You must fight in the spirit. We wrestle in the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit is not the Bible, it is the Word of God which is spiritual, not dead letter. If you resist the devil in the Holy Spirit, he will flee from you. If you resist the devil with the Bible, he will put you in a church, take 10% of your money and take you captive forever. The power is in the Spirit, there is no power in the Bible. I have fought the devil for many years now and his biggest weapon is to get you into the flesh. He has different kinds of spirits that do his bidding, shadow spirits and familiar spirits which are spirits of the dead, fallen angels which came down with him when he was cast out of heaven. You cannot defeat him with a book. You must fight in the Spirit, Jesus Christ will give you power through the Holy Spirit.